Hi, this is Les Pavlovich of the Free GeoTools blog, welcoming you to my first screencast. Because it's the first, there's probably going to be all kinds of glitches and bugs with it, and I hope you'll bear with me on that. Um, today we're going to be looking at Map Window GIS, a Free GIS shapefile viewer and editor from the University of Idaho, and a very good one. Uh, this is the first of a series of screencasts. Today we'll be looking at the uh, shapefile viewing functions. Future screencasts will look at shapefile editing, um, attribute, um, querying and manipulation, and then also look at some of the advanced GIS tools that it has. Okay, here's the um, map window screen, and we'll start out by adding some data, and the installation program includes some demo data, and we'll use that. So I'll click on the plus button and choose add layer up here at the top. And I'm going to choose a um, city shape file, which is the points, rivers, which is lines, and states, which is polygons or area. Click on open, and it pops up and there are the states, but there don't seem to be any cities or rivers there. You take a look on the left, there's the, um, uh, the legend pane that shows all the data layers that are present, and you'll see that states here is at the top, and what that means is that it's drawn last, and it's covering up the other two layers, the cities and the rivers. To change the order in which we draw them, we just click and drag on states and put it down at the bottom, and there are the cities in yellow and the rivers drawn in black. Okay, next we're going to take a look at um, zooming in and zooming out and showing more detail on this. And up at the top there is a uh, magnifying class with a plus in it, and that's the zoom tool. If we select that, we can draw a box on the screen around Colorado and zoom in on Colorado so you can see more detail. Do that again on the cities and get more and more detail. Or if you want to do a little bit finer detail, you can just click once on the button and it'll zoom in. Similarly with zoom out, there's no selection feature, you just click and zoom out. Up at the top there's a hand icon, if we click on that, that's the pan button, and we use that to drag the map around to different locations. And finally, if we want to take a look at the whole map, we could always zoom out until we saw it, but you can also click up here at the top on the zoom feature and choose full extents. And what that'll do is it'll zoom you out automatically to show all the layer you have currently loaded into your program. When you uh, first open up data in a um, map window, it tends to assign colors to different shapes at random, and usually that random means it's going to be a color you don't like. And we're going to take a look now at how you go about changing the colors, the, uh, the generic colors for the shape files. If we go to any of the layers and either double click on it or right click and choose properties, we'll up the legend editor, and it comes up in a um, floating window here. However, if you click and drag on it, you can put it on one of the little icons that appears on the side and dock it as a side window, which is a little bit more convenient because you can see what's going on a little bit better. And now, as you click on different layers, different sets of properties show up in what kind of um, shape file it is, point, line, or area. Let's start out with the, um, the states, which is an area shape file, polygon, and let's change the fill color, which right now is green. So I'm going to go over to the properties where it says fill color, and from the drop down, choose a uh, dark gray color, I think, and there it is. We can also change the uh, outline color, the colors drawn to define the outline of the shapes, and for that I'll click on outline color, and from the drop down I will choose red, and there we go. Next, um, the rivers. The rivers are drawn in a kind of dark gray color right now, and I think blue would be a good choice for that, so let's select blue, and there you go. You can also modify the line width and the line style. Right now it's a solid line. If I can, I can choose a, um, a dotted line if I want, or a dashed line, but I think I'm going to stick with the original, which is uh, just one solid line. You can also modify the line width in a similar fashion as well, too, to make it thicker. And once again, we'll stick with the thinnest line that we have. Finally, for the cities, it's a point, and we can um, change the default color from the current yellow to, uh, let's say, a nice dark green. You can change the size of the point as well too, make it uh, bigger or smaller. And you can also change it from the current square shape to any one of a number of different shapes. We'll leave it a square for now. 